heritage, our tradition, our future. Today, we become... In this episode of Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby, we look ahead to this Saturday's derby between Paul Boys High and Paddle Gymnasium, live on Supersport. When it comes to an inter-schools rugby match, very few can compare to the Paul Derby between Boys High and Gymnasium. The Paul Interschooler game is the biggest of its kind in the world, with more than 20,000 spectators watching the action in the Wineland town. Well, I first played for six a bit late, because we started on Monday with the week's activities. It is the two schools, but yeah, it is certainly the biggest inter-school in the land for sure. 25,000 Both schools share uh, much the same values, and um, I think both of them are committed as well to also indicate these values, such as good sportsmanship, uh, loyalty. Uh, friendship, uh, endurance, perseverance, that sort of thing, uh, also to indicate it on the field and not only off it. Um, yeah, you see the build up, that is basis, the whole week, as what Oma said. Um, and that is rare, it's, that we can't describe it, it's something unbelievable, and it's very big, and on the day with your boy field, it is the basis, the biggest race of your life. So, you can't get out of 150%. No, I mean, for that week, you, uh, you instant. You get instant Euro status in Paul, you know, so uh, it's uh, unbelievable and obviously it gave us a taste for what to come for myself and guys like John, you know, obviously after that we managed to you know, forge a career out of rugby, so uh, it was really nice and it's uh, it's such a great event, so uh, I mean, if I can go back now and play another inter-schools, I'll probably say yes, please. Even the town shop owners get involved in the inter-schooler occasion. Yeah, of late, uh, the, the, the shop owners have also um, become uh, clever in an economic sense, and usually you will find that. Um, most of them, if they have two pillars in front of the shop, for instance, the one will be made up in boys' eye colours and the other one in, uh, you know, you can't teach an old businessman new tricks. Eh? <laughs> it's unbelievable a week in the pal. I think in that week, see you how one family has been in two gesprekken about if you're a boys' eye or if you're a gym. Interschool is, is the reason why people go to Pearl Gym to go or, or Pearl Boys' Eye. It's just one of the things that from the small is going to go to Interschool. And it's absolutely unbelievable to have 25,000 people by a rugby game to see on school or like that. Paul Kramer is in the world, and I think there is so much passion and trust betrokken in this fight. It is one of my best rugby games. One of the unique traditions of Interschool is the capping ceremonies, which take place the day before the big match. And then there's also the brag in the hall where all our uh, other teams are, are then uh, uh, introduced to the rest of the school. And then both schools on the, on the Friday morning have, the, there's no school on that day, and then we have a brag in the hall where the teams that are playing at Forest Street uh, are then introduced and then the first teams are then capped on that, on that specific day, which is a very emotional occasion. I think it's going to be something special for me with the first thing, with the capping and everything, but... Um Die laar school het ook hulle interschool is en dan die vrijdag ochend is het ons beurt en dan die volgende dag is het sikke tijd op Forestraat. The on-field action gets underway on Friday already with the hockey and junior rugby matches taking place. The girls schools obviously have the, the, the netball but the hockey starts on the Friday and the Saturday and as I said we're very very fortunate to have an Astro now that we share with girls high school. So for the first time this year our hockey team will be playing um, against uh, gymnasium on our on our uh, Astro. Later on the Friday evening alumni young and old gather for massive reunions and old boys brags where reminiscing about the glory days is the main item on the menu. I've uh, met some guys that here tonight that was at Varsity with me that living in London 
they come from overseas for this occasion. So I think that's the magnitude that people must realize uh, and how they treasure it, you know, to, to come back and have that special moment again and to share those special stories that they, um, you know, gone through in their inter-school day. So it's, it's always such a special occasion and um, it's just great for Premier Inter-Schools to be part of it. One of Hims' favorite sons, Scott Berger Jr., the 2004 IRB Player of the Year, has fond memories of his time at the Paul School. Berger is announcing to the newest faithful that he is back. I want to be here, I want to win rugby matches, and I want to do my bit. Yeah, and obviously uh, it was a good experience for me. And obviously getting to a school like Paulsham, I was from a small school in Wellington before that, and obviously it's pretty daunting because, you know, there's about 40 Craven Week players and you're standing at six group. And, uh, you know, for me, first love at school was actually cricket, and uh, rugby was really a big passion of mine. So, yeah, I managed to get into the first team there and had lots of fun, and uh, in the year 2000 was my first run, and uh, it was good fun to get the first cap under the way. Uh, as you all know, Skulk was the, the centre of um, the match that day and uh, we also realised that, that everything would centre around him and uh, so we put all our players on him and uh, we were very fortunate that they continued playing on him and using him as the, as the guy that he is and uh, we could get the ball from him. So we were very fortunate that day to, to, uh, to be able to take it. Uh, obviously lost the big one in the trick 12-3 but uh, managed to win all the others so uh, it was always big competition it's uh it's the closest to test match rugby i think you'll get at such a young age so you know the whole town goes nuts for inter schools and uh, you fired up beyond belief and unfortunately for us we got outplayed on the day in 2001. many will know the 71 test springbok for his rugby abilities however the incredible skulk is quite the all-rounder having captain him at both cricket and rugby yeah, i started when i was really young standard six started playing for the first team and <coughs> we battled for a few years and then when i was standard nine so year 2000 we actually were unbeaten you know we went on a run and uh, you know dominate all the the cape schools we had a few opportunities to play a little bit of cricket at newlands with the stormers versus uh, uh, the cobras and it's always good fun uh, but at the moment rugby is number one and uh, hopefully it stays that way till i decide to call it quits since the match officially became an inter-schools derby in 1929, Chum and Boisai have met 84 times. Nine matches have been drawn, with Chum winning 42 and Boisai 33. In recent times, it has been all Chum, with Boisai having only won one match in the last decade. That game was back in 2000. <laughs> Het was wel speciaal de dag ook. En de hele opbouw tot die wedstrijd en toen was Wen. Het was voor ons als span, als spelers. En ik denk als school in geheel en de hele gemeenschap achter de school was het, was het baie groot. Want ons het baie lang voor dit laatst gewen. Zo, so, uh, dat was, was nogal baie speciaal. Frans is sort of like a, like a godly figure in our school as he strolled around there in, in all ways. Um, he's really just, uh, just a, a massive man. Just a massive integrity. And, uh, and yeah, everybody looked up to him. Yeah, of course, it is very special. I can't even think about it. Because when you think about it, when you went to the school and went to school, there were all the old photos on what you were your child was and what you admired. And when you now go back, there are all your photos there. And it's a bit unworkable to bring the two worlds to each other. But I'm very proud and Baie dankbaar ook vir wat die school vir hou beteken het in die vijf jaar. None of the current crop of boys hires were at high school when they last won an inter-schools match. And they will be champing at the bit to set the record straight. Dit is nou natuurlijk, ek het nog een inter-schoole win gehad van het ons in grad 8 in die school ingekom het. En laas jaar het ons self beleef hoe voel het en hoe teleerstellend het is in die school om inter-schoole game te verloor en sal nie daar weer daar nie nog gaan nie. Ja, you know, I think... In my short time here at Boys High, one thing, one thing that I've sort of picked up with the boys is as soon as you push them into a corner, then they sort of, you know, really show what they're made of. And um, we've had a couple of games this season where that character has been tested and sort of come out on top, and, and I'm sure it won't be much different. This school is a pin, but the life comes after this school. So when you after this school, and how far you go, 
baie belangriker is om een interskole te wen of te verloor. Die dag wat jy verloor het, of die dag wat jy gewen het, is wonderlijk. Maar dit is nie die einde van, van die, die aarde nie. Jou lewe begin na interskole. Traditionally known for its tough, low-scoring encounters, the 2013 Paul Interschooler match produced a high-scoring thriller, which Chum won 36-27. It was the highest aggregate score in Interschooler history. Last year, I mean, we were down um, um, by quite some margin at, at half time, and then the wonderful thing is, you know, that everybody, the guys just came back and they played a magnificent game. Last year, I think no more. Om eerst span te spelen was het nogal, dat is een groot eer geweest en dat was waai direct, want hij zal verdienwoordig is, die, die school is span. Maar laatste jaar, ons er nogal lekker aan te jaren, het was eigenlijk een rustig op het veld geweest. Ik heb geweerd als mensen wat back, ik heb erg waar, hoor, fouten wat gemaakt worden, ik heb nog tijd gegaan naar de geniet. Both sides have had their troubles with injuries this season, but Gim will be hoping to welcome back captain Wayno Fasaghi, who broke his ankle early in the season. Ja, dinge het vir my goed begin die um, jaar, maar uh, met die finale proeven het ek my enkel gebreek. Dit was nou toe ek aangewees was as kaptein, maar ek kon het toe nou nie deel wees van die span nie. En so was het nog maar oog gedraan, zijn dat ek ook er, maar um, ja, het was maar vir my moeilik, want ek was laas jaar soos in die eerste span en ek weet hoe het is en hoe dinge gaan, maar die jaar was ek nou nog nie deel en ek hoop ek kan na die vakantie begin. Ek is my trek en ek sal wel graag, as ek nou een game sal speel, sal ek wel interschoolen speel en Ik werk naar NATO en die vakantie zal ik maar net mijn best mee doen om terug te wees voor die grote in te spelen. Injuries aside, the 15 men who donned the first team jersey on Saturday will be ready to play in the biggest match of their young lives. Als het net een gewone wedstrijd is, dan krijg ik zo'n wonderfles als opdracht of dit zijn um, wonderlijkste dingen. So ik weet niet hoe de dag daar gaan het iets um, onbeschrijfelijks wees, maar ik zie mij er nou in. Ik denk elke avond door het en zo. So. So, dat is een groot droom van mij wat zal gewaarheid worden als ik een geleentheid krijg. No matter whether you win or lose, these boys will always come and they'll pick the boys up and they'll carry them off the field. And that to me is something that I treasure and respect from my old boys. And it's something that I've been taught and that they also feel very strongly about that. These boys have given everything and even though they're disappointed at the loss, they still support the guys. On Saturday, all roads lead to the Forest Street Stadium where droves of schoolboys and spectators flock to the town stadium for the single biggest school rugby match in the world. To give any of those guys, if you give them a choice, say, do you want to end number one in South Africa as a, as a rugby school or would you have wanted to win into schools? I think all of them would have picked into schools. And that's just how it is. That's just the enormity of it. Today, we stand for all that is. Our tradition, our future. Today, we become. Watch Paul Boys High versus Paddle Gymnasium in Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby this Saturday, live on Supersport.